what is up everyone maybe i should bring my <laughs> mic over a little bit um what is up everyone my name is tony welcome back to my channel where i react to k-pop if you're new here welcome hope you enjoy my reaction if you do please consider liking and subscribing it definitely helps me out um you can also feel free to follow me on instagram and or twitter if you are interested um links are down in the description i always follow back and yeah other than that um i just wanted to give like a little like review of christmas carol with jin young um i finally watched it um i okay firstly i just want to give like warnings okay firstly spoiler warning if you haven't watched it then maybe don't watch my review of it um because i am going to spoil things and two um trigger warning if you if you've watched the movie then you know that there's a lot of sa um emotional abuse um and the r word so anyways i just wanted to give those warnings that you know, just in case. Um, but anyway, I also want to say that I, I did not watch the movie in the most proper format, um, meaning legally. So the translations were not the best. Um, I thought they were, I thought they were decent for like, you know, the site that I watched it off of. Um, but I just, I do want to give you the warning that, um, there might have things that I might have taken out of context or did not fully understand, um, because of the translations. So I just want to give that warning as well. Um, but I did get the gist of everything, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm, j I'm gonna, like, put this into, like, different sections. So, like, first I'm gonna talk about the acting, um, second, I'm going to talk about, like, the production slash editing, and then third, I'm just going to, like, talk about the movie in general and, like, the synopsis and what it was about and, like, my feelings about it. Um, so I hope that's cool. Um, firstly, the acting. I thought the acting was really, really good, um, especially Jin Young. I think the way he played two different characters was so spot on and i can tell that he really did a lot of work on trying to portray um a mentally disabled individual um and i like i have deep appreciation that he did his homework on that you know what i mean like it must have been really hard to put himself in those shoes, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought the acting was phenomenal, like, all around. Like, not even Jin Young. I think the whole cast, like, did a really good job of, you know, acting their parts. Second, I wanted to talk about the production slash editing. Um, I thought it was good. Like, I don't want to say it was amazing because there were definitely some parts where the editing could have been better, um, especially when it came to, like, the more aggressive scenes where there was, like, punching or slapping and stuff like that. Um, like, you could just tell that, you know, they were definitely, um, I don't even know why I have my headphones in. Um, <laughs> I'm not listening to anything today. <laughs> um, you could definitely tell that um, they, like, were actually punching and were actually slapping. Um, especially, I'm sorry, I should, like, 
I should like get out like because I know I'm gonna f up names and all that stuff so so let me get out a little like profile <laughs> when Moon Jahoon slapped San Juan is that his name um I uh, yeah you could you could definitely tell that like he literally just went like and he just went but honestly I feel like when it comes to like aggressive scenes or fighting scenes or any scene where you're um like getting physical with somebody else like it's it's really hard to film those you know what I mean because understandable but anyway I thought I thought other than those moments the um the production and the edits were like pretty decent and then thirdly I just kind of want to talk about like the movie in general so um I think I was honestly very shocked <laughs> I was honestly very shocked at how raw and like real it was um because I, I like I'm just so used to like everything being so censored in South Korea like if that makes sense like there's not really a lot of shows that show like, I, I knew it was going to be dark. I knew the movie was going to be dark just from, like, what I've heard other people say. But I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Um, to, like, you know, because I, I know how South Korea is when it comes to, like, sexual things. When it comes to, um, like, violence. Like, they kind of just want to censor it. Or, you know, especially in Korean BLs, if you watch Korean BLs and you know that, like, the kisses suck. <laughs> the kisses are awful. Like, it's literally just, like, meh. Like, not even, like, moving your lips. And, like, I hate it. Like, it's just, it's annoying. It's frustrating for me to watch as a viewer. So I know that, like, they're not open about that stuff in media. I guess I could say. Um, so I was really shocked when they actually had like scenes of the R word. I don't I don't want to like actually say the word and get in trouble on YouTube. Um, I, I yeah, I was very, very surprised. Um, but like, again, I like how I like how they showed like the importance of mental health and recognizing mental health issues and um and mental disabilities any disability honestly um because i know that's also another taboo topic in korea um so like i i just i want to give a lot of appreciation to the movie and to the actors and to everyone involved in creating the movie um, and also the writer of the book, I believe it was a book, correct? Before they made it into a movie. Um, for making mental health, mental disability, disabilities in general, like, a topic. You know what I mean? Like, something that we need to talk about. Something that we need to recognize. Um, sorry. A dog is barking. Oh, it's a little corgi. And something that we need to make prominent in order to then fix. And does that make sense? Like, when there's, when you put a stigma on something, what was I saying? Whenever you stigmatize mental health and any type of disability, it, it's like, it's like putting it under the rug, you know what I mean? And it makes the person who is dealing with those things feel insignificant and shameful about their issues, which is something that can't be helped, you know what I mean? Like, it's not good to sweep depression, anxiety, stress. It's not good to sweep all that under the rug, you know what I mean? Like, 
there's a reason why countries who don't have a lot of mental health and disability like recognition has a high rate of suicide should i say that sorry have a high rate of uh, yeah anyway you guys know what i'm talking about i don't know if i should <laughs> i don't i don't know what i can and can't get away with like i don't want to like say anything that's like too harmful but there's a reason for that you know what i mean and I think it was very important to kind of to kind of show people that just because I, I think it's Wolwu. So I if I pronounce the names wrong, like please don't get upset at me. Like I just I'm not good <laughs> at name pronunciation. Um, but Wolwu, I think it is. Like even though he has a mental disability and his brain is stuck at the age of, I think it was like, like a fourth grader or something like that. Um, they're still human. They're still a human being. They still have feelings. They still have emotions and they still have an understanding at some level. You know what I mean? Like even, even though, even though they don't, they haven't developed a, a moral compass just yet, they still understand the meaning of right and wrong, right? You know what I mean? And how do I describe it? Sorry, there might be a lot of editing in this because it's going to take me like time to like gather my thoughts <laughs> with certain things. But um, on top of that, I think it also made prevalent the issue of essay and the r word with mentally disabled individuals they are the most vulnerable and therefore the most easy to take advantage of um and this is something that's not just prevalent in korea it's prevalent everywhere and i also i also have an appreciation for how they made that a necessary thing to be discussed and how we need to have protection laws in place for those individuals because they don't have the capacity to say no and they don't have the capacity to fight back and it's very unfortunate that it happens and that it's something that we need to even put laws in place for but you know it's something that we got to do, right? You know, so I appreciate that they also made that something that we need to discuss, you know what I mean? And not just in Korea, like everywhere, everywhere. And, and also the fact that those individuals need to have proper care um, and attention and kind of have that, have those laws in place in that kind of way as well um you know like if ilwu did not have the capacity to take care of his mentally disabled brother then there should have been some system in place to step in and take care of him but because obviously the grandmother was not able <laughs> to take care of Wolwu either um because she was completely ignorant of the fact of what was going on um with sorry what's what was the teacher's name joe Su, joe sunu i think um so oh by the way if you guys know me you know that i get emotional <laughs> especially when i'm watching like movies or like uh like shows or anything like that i get very emotional i managed to get through the whole movie without crying until the end whenever wolwu is singing the christmas carol to Uwu cry ilwu crying that killed me it killed me because i could just tell I could just tell how badly he wanted to tell Ilwu what was happening, but, but didn't, but didn't know how to pick up the courage to tell him or, um, like having, like being afraid of how Ilwu would react if he did tell him. And that just like, again, like it just, it just talks about 
the issue, and this is something that is also prevalent here in the U.S. about the R word, like, it's just, it's just something that constantly will be an issue, I feel like. Um, nothing's ever actually done about it. Um, if it, if something is done about it, the person who did commit the crime gets a slap on the wrist and that's about it. Um, no, it, it's, it, I feel like that's something that is an issue everywhere. Like, it's, it's really sad in my opinion, but I don't know, like, oh, sorry, I'm like f having issues, like getting all of my thoughts together. But yeah, I definitely, I definitely like, at that scene, like, I lost it. I was like, no, I'm getting teary-eyed just thinking about it. Like, oh, Jin Young did such a good job at that part, like, seriously. And I, and I think it also, like, goes to show, like, how important it is to appreciate the people that we have in our lives. Like, it, it took Il Wu losing Wol Wu to finally understand like how much he wasn't there for his brother and how much he should have been there and how much he should have cared for him but the thought came too late which is something oh, sorry I'm gonna get emotional <laughs> which is something that I think a lot of people actually kind of go through um I I kind of felt that part of the story a lot deeper than probably others would um, because um, I lost my dad at a very young age, not like super young, but I was in high school. I was 17 and it very, it happened very suddenly and um, like none of us were prepared for it at all. And um, at that time I was kind of going through, you know, the rebellious teenage years, you know, 16, 17, you're angsty, you're, you want to be independent, you think you know it all. Um, I mean, I feel like any teenager goes through that. And I, I was at that period in my life. And I definitely regret how I acted and how I treated others at that time, um, especially after my dad passed. And I kind of realized like, like, anybody in your life could literally just be gone in a second you know what I mean like and and it just kind of made me like appreciate the people that I have in my life and that I need to take more care in how I treat others so I that part of the movie like really got to me but yeah I definitely think that it was an important lesson on how much we should appreciate the people in our lives um but, like, at the same time, like, I, I can get it. Like, it's it's literally, like, taking care of a child, right? Like, you're trying your best to provide, to work, um, you know, to provide the care to the individual. And it can, it can be stressful. It can be frustrating. It can... And then it all just, like, piles up and it snowballs and then you end up lashing out at the people that care the most. Um, I've definitely been there. I've been that person. Um, I've seen others do it. It's, it happens a lot and it takes a lot of self-awareness to kind of be that person that's like, okay, I need to, like, step back from the situation. I need to control my emotions. Um, it's really hard. It, it is really hard. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like wanted to give like my impression of the movie, how I felt about it, um, what I thought the movie did right. I'm also curious, like I'm not super familiar with juvenile detention centers in, or detention centers in general in South Korea. Is that like really like the culture in detention centers? I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I feel like, I feel like it can also be very similar here in the U.S. when it comes to prisons. Um, there's definitely, um, there's definitely a hierarchy, right? And there's definitely, you know, people you want to look out for, um, 
and you definitely have to watch what you do. Um, I know this because a lot of my family members are corrections officers and I, and literally work with prisoners every day. Um, so I, I know like the nuances of a prison system. Um, so I was just kind of curious if like it's, if it's like, if it's really like that in uh, Korea as well, because I'm not familiar. Um, I just, I know how it is here in the US. So I'm curious if anybody knows that. Um, and I'm also curious to know what Agase has to say. I'm curious to know how you felt about the movie and um, your thoughts and opinions and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to get like <laughs> how I felt about the movie like out there. Um, but yeah, I, I would love to watch it again, like, in a proper way with, like, proper translation so I can get, like, a better idea of the movie. Um, but yeah, because I definitely feel like at the end the translations were definitely, like, off for sure. <laughs> but anyways, um, I definitely think even, even though, even though the movie was very effed up, I think... I think it just goes to show, like, what an effed up world we live in and that shit like that does happen. Unfortunately, um, it does happen. And I think it had so many, like, important messages for us to pay attention to, if that makes sense. And if there's any important messages from the movie that I missed, um, please let me know. I If I missed anything um, that you think... I should have gotten from the movie, then please comment and let me know. Um, because I love, I love hearing what others got from the movie and how they felt about it. Um, so yeah, let me know. And other than that, I think that's it. Um, really good movie, really good acting. Um, was not expecting it. I think Jin Young killed it. And yeah. All right, guys, <laughs> please. If I say anything that offended anybody, like, please please tell me if I said something that was incorrect, um, or anything like that, like, please let me know. I just, I want to, I want to make sure that I'm being respectful of others and that I'm taking into consideration others and the things that they go through. So please, please let me know if the verbiage I used was correct, incorrect, whatever. Um, I'm always trying to make sure that I respect everyone. But yeah, okay. Other than that, <laughs> I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, be yourselves, and have a good day. Bye, guys.